So today I'm uh, I'm about to go on a ski adventure, and uh, I'm not really sure if I managed to go where I'm going. Uh, it's kind of a long route, and I've been waiting for good conditions. Uh, like we have today for a long time <laughs> to do that. Uh, I may have uh, my toe, my toe broken. <laughs> I hit it. I hit my foot yesterday at night. Uh, I was walking in the darkness and I kicked on something. Uh, but yeah, it's in in between all the other toes, and uh, the shoes are quite. Uh, stiff so I don't think that anything else will happen so yeah let's see I will I will try to ski and let's see how far I will go I will try to do some filming in the meantime but it's uh, minus 18 degrees in the forest where I will be skiing it's colder so I don't know how it's gonna go so see you later I was afraid I wasn't able to do the, the, uh, the full route that I was uh, planning to do today simply too cold for that uh, I think um, and uh, with this uh, with these skiing shoes uh, they are quite tight and you can really put a lot of socks in um, so yeah my, my feet were got, got really really freezing <coughs> uh, despite of the fact I continued on my like regular route and I uh, was trying to also make some videos and I think I will be just waiting for better conditions uh, for uh, like uh, maybe minus 6 to minus 10 to do that circulation is coming back so that's good just always a little bit uh, yeah I was a little bit afraid because they my, my, my toes uh, froze really really badly I decided not to continue to, to where I wanted to go because uh, I didn't want to, to risk frostbite or anything like that usually it can be very dangerous uh, but yeah, I the camera is still outside uh, because uh, we have one of these days uh, that uh, sun, is, uh, sun is behind the, the clouds Sometimes it comes out of uh, from behind the clouds, but it's uh, behind the clouds, uh, and it uh, creates this really very beautiful dispersed golden light uh, across the, the valley because it's really so beautiful, and I would like to capture some some few beautiful moments. Uh, so let's see.
finally made it <laughs> to to this spot. I will share with you some some view in a bit, um, but uh, I just just wanted to show you this spot because uh, if I'm still here in Sweden uh, during the summer, uh, I. I will be living here probably, most likely, it's very possible. Mm. Uh, the owners of the cabin that I'm renting now during the winter kindly agreed to, to rent this cabin uh, for me in the summer. It's in the middle of the forest. It's totally off grid. Uh, there is, it's just like a small cabin, uh, one, one room. Oh, it's amazing. Thank you, thank you, that's beautiful. Uh, so it's just one room cabin um, with bunk beds and uh, some kitchen area. Uh, there is a compost toilet outside and um, yeah, and there is a stream. <laughs> and uh, there is also like a small lake and uh, some of the some of the scenes from around here if you if you've watched my previous videos if, if you've seen my previous videos oh okay oh that's wonderful so if you watched my previous videos uh, you saw some of the uh, spots from here and yeah, I really hope that I will stay in Sweden and uh, have a chance to live here because I can already, uh, it, it, it's been already very inspiring uh, here and uh, I, I really love this little corner in the forest and uh, there is a lot of animals of course here uh, so I'm hoping to have some encounters and uh, some you know, uh, some luck to, to record some of these encounters. And yeah, and it's amazing, like a, s a small, if you see, it's like a, it's on a small hill. And the view is just below, so I can imagine how beautiful it's gonna be and how much inspiration uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have here. So yeah, let's hope I'm staying in Sweden and I can live here and I can share a lot of beautiful moments uh, from this spot, but not only. I'm hoping uh, that in summer, if, uh, if that's gonna be a possibility, we'll be traveling a little bit in Sweden. Oh, it's really amazing. And uh, oh. Well, I have to finish and I have to record it because it's amazing. Oh! <laughs> I don't know whether you've seen it, but there are little big uh, chunks of snow coming at me. Yeah, so it's in the middle of the forest. Just trees. And wind. and uh, silence. Surprise, surprise, I'm again here in the cabin in the forest and uh, the, the owners were so lovely to, uh, to offer me to stay here. I can hear some plane I think somewhere above the hill or a scooter. So yeah, it's kind of cloudy today, so um, 
but yeah, I think I will just put the camera there because I really love the clouds and uh, <coughs> there is really nice, beautiful uh, light coming through the clouds as well. Uh, so I think it can be nice time lapse. It'd be so nice if I could see northern lights tonight. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> cabin in the village uh, to bring a few more things and I just came back maybe half an hour ago and uh, I'm just making fire I just finished and uh, now my hands are a little bit freezing from setting camera outside it's like minus 10 today so it's colder than yesterday so now I'm just going inside uh, to make sure that this the fire stays and I want to make some dinner so in the cabin it's around six degrees I'm not sure you can see that So it's my second morning here and uh, outside it's like minus 
almost 12 and inside it says it's 20 but it doesn't really feel like as you can see <laughs> I'm really dressed up and I actually started the fire um, over two hours ago at five o'clock five in the morning now it's like around 7.20 so it's almost two and a half hours uh, but the main reason why it's still so cold is uh, that uh, there is, I think, an issue with this stove or chimney, more likely. I think that probably that the, the chimney needs some kind of a sweep. Now, now you can see it because uh, it's no longer uh, happening. Uh, to this extent at least but there is a lot of smoke coming from all the gaps that the stove has everywhere and uh, because it makes it impossible to breathe and you know you get your eyes filled with tears because of that because it's really like very bitey uh, so I literally had to open the door every few minutes to get rid of this smoke because you're trying to warm up the place and at the same time you keep opening the door with minus 12 outside uh, so it makes it really difficult to keep it warm so i actually uh yeah i was awake at five because it was already uh too cold to to, to sleep um without uh, without the fire on so i thought i would just make a fire and maybe just <laughs> go back to sleep but uh, yeah because of this smoke situation i wasn't able to go to sleep because uh, i had to open the door and it was also quite cold in the bed i have two sleeping bags but for me personally it's not really not really enough I mean I can sleep and I prefer to sleep like in a cool or even a little bit coldish uh, temperature as long as I have very thick layer uh, to, to cover me so um, I think sitting here is the only option for now for me because being anywhere else is just too cold so I basically spent two hours sitting here on the chair and going to open the door and then going to close them after a few minutes <laughs> to keep uh, keep this uh, the place warm. Mm. Also, this is really very very tiny fire chamber. It's like eight per eight centimeters maybe and it's as deep like this from from here to here you can't really leave this fire on for longer than maybe a half an hour and after half an hour you just have to put another piece of wood inside i also have like a like an oil lamp here that uh, I was told that I can use to warm up the place before this this stove works but I was really intrigued to see and interested to see how how it's gonna work if I don't have it if I don't use it so I didn't use it at all the same for the gas I have a gas cooker there but I didn't use it at all I may um, make all the cooking uh, on the stove and uh, I what I can say is it pretty much it cooks qu very quickly I would say pretty much the same as uh, on the electric cooker that I have in the cabin there in the village and I feel that I'm uh, finally getting warm <laughs> after two and a half hours <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's a very interesting experience and that made me also think a lot about uh, 
you know, our ancestors, people who used to live this kind of lifestyle that they didn't have all the comforts um, as we do have today. And uh, how different inventions uh, improved our life and uh, as much as I uh, really have a lot of uh, you know, uh, respect and admiration for like uh, the simplest way of living possible. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I'm not a great fan of uh, introducing too much technology into my life, and I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, certain inventions and uh, comforts as we have life uh, I think it's very beneficial because like if you think now that for example I had to spend uh, two and a half hours uh, to only start making this place warm if you live like this like totally off-grid in a, in a climate like this definitely takes a lot of time and add energy to sort of uh, maintain uh, this lifestyle. The weather <coughs> seems a little bit like uh, there's a slight wind outside. It's, it's very gloomy <laughs> and uh, it snows a little bit but um, it's very wet snow. So I'm just wondering how uh, how the skiing is gonna be because it's like an hour of cross-country skiing uh, to the village. Yeah, but it's nice to be here. Um, it's very peaceful and quiet. Yeah, I think it's a bit stormy actually. You can even hear it. I don't know whether you can hear it from the chimney. The wind in the chimney, and I can see how the, how the smoke is being blown away by the wind as well. It wasn't easy to start working on my next film. This cabin in the forest represents upcoming summer time that I was hoping to spend there, but for now I'm no longer sure I will still be in Sweden. This hasn't been very easy for me and it has certainly triggered some old wounds and sowed some doubts in my mind. Some of us sometimes lose faith in what we do and our place in the world. 
I was so tired with challenges in life that when I healed from my deepest sorrows, I wanted to believe that it's possible to sail through life on disturbed waters and continue to grow. And perhaps it's possible, but every now and then we may resist what life brings and that will result in bigger or smaller upheaval. I think that there are things we are to learn in life and the more we resist, the more chaos will rise from it. So as much as uh, the thought of living fills me with sadness, I'm grateful for being here for as long as it lasts.